but the, the police picked on my, me because of my color of my car <laughs> i feel everyone else had white on white cars so i guess the standout is because they chose me in the middle of the pack <laughs> uh, we are what we do repeatedly so our excellence isn't an act it's a habit aristotle never up never down never like a theme in a song clever feeling high Feeling low at the same time Feels so right, then I'm wrong Hoping I'll be fine But I get up, I always do I never think, I always do Never thought I wouldn't jump Oh, what a fool Hey guys, it's Brian and Jared from Motor Persona. Today we're here with Mitch Wan shooting another episode. We've got a beautiful Audi R8 and a beautiful McLaren 650S. What's better than one, but two matching color supercars? Now, Mitchell, if you could introduce yourself a little bit. Um, my name is Mitchell. I, I, I'm an admin for a group called Car Style Group, and we have about 2,000 members. <laughs> Having two supercars, what significance do these cars hold to you and how do you attribute it to your success? How do you define yeah. success? I, I used to have a Honda, and not that Hondas are bad, but I used to have a Honda Accord. Yeah. And then I, I rewarded myself with a, a, an Audi uh, A5 and, uh, in 2012. And, uh, and then I rewarded myself a big jump from the A5 to the R8. Um, so in 2016, I, I've got to go pick up the R8, and then in a matter of quick succession, I got the TTS, TTRS, and 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 the and the McLaren. Because I think as 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 you work hard, I, I or as I work hard, I want to reward myself. Yeah. And as I yeah. as I as I went on, yeah, so this one's a rear a rear uh, rear wheel drive, and it's the, the best fun. And and I've got. I've modified it a little bit, so it looks, it's a lot of fun on the road. And I brought to Tasmania, and, and it was fantastic around the, the roads there, and it was it was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. And and the meaning of the underdog plates on this McLaren? Uh, not, it's not uh, because of the car. It's because of my business. It, uh, so the the plates actually represent my business, where we 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 were the long shot. We were the yeah. We were the underdog. We were we were the people that were the group that wasn't going to make it, wouldn't last a year. People would say, and and I've, I've gradually built it up. To become uh, what the, the largest um, independent pathology laboratory in Australia. With you know being able to enjoy these cars as much as you do obviously that takes a lot of actions mm. and discipline and all of that what like what's inside your toolbox what tools do you use in order to achieve and hit those goals every day it's that's a good question it, it a toolbox my toolbox is very large and but but i think the most important thing uh through any every day of every minute of my life i it's it's my integrity so my integrity builds everything I do, like even at work. Uh, what I am at work is what I am at home. I, yeah. I, there's no fake, there's no fakeness, there's no, there's no pretending, there's no any of that. So I've, I've done a lot of that. So the toolbox is just um, doing what I, doing what I, uh, I say I'm going to do uh, or saying what I'm going to, you know, it, it's all that kind of positive thing, things that I, I, actions I do for my, my team members at work and for home as well. It's the, it's the talk in our cars that pushes through the wall and is that, that's what we, or I feel that's what I am, uh, just the talk pushing forward and making sure I get that yes or find the answer uh, uh, to my, my, my problems, uh, I guess. So it's those daily mental things that we all do. With big responsibilities and businesses, there's a lot of stress involved in life. Yes. How do you deal with stress and mm. if, let's say, it's slower than expected progression or such? Yes. Um, well, it, right now is, is, a, is a prime example of um, a, a bit of, oh, quite a bit of stress at work. Two weeks before Christmas and one week after New Year's, my, my business numbers are slow. 
yeah. so so yeah. Uh, my revenue is is suffering at the moment like I'm, and so so how I deal with that is I just you know put my head in bum up and just focus on on more sales and help my team bring on more work it's just a, a lull because of everyone's yeah. on holidays yeah but I, and I know that but it's a good time to actually penetrate in other areas that we we, we we don't normally have time to and we focus on our quality so it's all about that in the in in the stress of life just just making it um, just check just doing a check on all parts of my, my business and my family making sure everything is right basically yeah. and and using the tools that from the toolbox to make sure the stresses are uh, are not as stressful as yeah. as what it would seem if you know what I mean so I can always bounce ideas from them and and that's the good thing you know it's someone to bounce ideas to help me look well, what do you think I should do but maybe I should do this and there is no judgment from my friends um, yeah well they haven't told me them but <laughs> but behind my back they might judge me but in front of me they, they're actually telling me everything I need to know so it's good And if you are, how does your family support that? I, 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 I'm not sure about obsessed, but I love cars. I, I, I do. And my family do support me um, uh, because we have a garage problem storing <laughs> our cars. Um, so w w I do. And, and I love my cars and, and they support me. But they do complain when I have to reverse my cars back and forth and, and move cars around like musical chairs. Do you have to get up early for work and uh, start of the McLaren one day and all of a sudden the whole house is a no, awake? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, well, actually my neighbours were probably... Uh, <laughs> With these cars, what's the plans for their future? I'm, um, I don't... My history is I don't sell my cars, so, so I keep them. And so I'm hoping I can keep them and hopefully buy a Ferrari 458. Um, and I'm hoping uh, that everything turns out and I can get a Ferrari, is my next car, I'm hoping. We, we don't take it off, I mean, we don't go full driving with them, obviously, because they're supercars, <laughs> but we actually love driving, you know, a Mount Tambourine or yeah. wherever it is that we yeah, go, you know. And, and, and with everybody, it's not just the, the, the supercar guys, it's just with any other car yeah. enthusiasts. You mentioned that you use these cars as rewards for yourself. Yes. How do you actually invest in yourself and progress? How I invest in myself is 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 actually investing in others so with this car group that i have or we have is is that we we actually provide uh, we network with each other yeah and it allows us to broaden our, our our goals and and broaden our horizons because i'm more in the medical field so obviously it's great to have other people in other fields so then i'll you know i can increase our rewards uh, potential rewards by by network working with them yeah no that's perfect and and the car style group has been so accommodating to us we mm. went to a book launch for the confide book launch yes. and just instantly first time meeting you yes. introducing us to everyone yes and Everyone's so open, so yes. accommodating. It, mm. It's honestly a great environment to yes, be in. Yes, it is, 100%. And that's what we want it to be. With car experiences, you're dealing with them every single day, especially being within the car style group. Yep. What's the craziest car experience you've had? Oh, I, there's so many, I, there's literally so many car experiences and they're all very good. With my group of guys, or group, group car style group, it's always fun. We've had Supercar Blondie. We've we've had uh, we've had uh, uh, seen through glass. We've we've had a lot of a lot of lot of opportunities. But the but I think they're just one-off star, you know, celebrities that we think, oh, wow, you know, great. But the most the boat the best thing that's ever happened to us with with these cars is seriously uh, creating this car style crew group and meeting so many car people because that is the best experience yeah I, i'm not saying this for anything but actually the people are the best experience this has been an absolutely amazing episode learning some amazing values and life skills from mitch uh jared what are you going to say about this one i think anything you take away from this episode the types of questions and the answers there's a lot of persistence there's a lot of drive and as mitch referenced with that car analogy 
you just have to keep going. Your passion, your drive, it, it's all the talk that leads you to your goal. Mm. Mitch, thank you so much thank for you. today. Thank you very much. Thanks, Appreciate thanks, it. thanks, guys. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. This thank has been you. Persona Diaries. Make sure you guys check in next week for another episode. Uh, we are shooting as many as we can, and we just absolutely love what we're doing with everyone and meeting amazing people like you, Mitch. So thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.